drop, gonna drop. Okay, you guys, today we have a very special guest in the house. Um, it is Charlie Rock LD's sister. First, I, I want to say my deepest condolences for your loss. I know there are a lot of different narratives out there about his death. Um, you've gotten the autopsy back. Can you share the results with us? Um, he had a massive heart attack. It was due to his high cholesterol. He, he was like a ticking time bomb where um, his arteries were closing and um, it didn't pump enough blood to the heart. He had he died of a massive heart attack. Okay, and so there were no traces of any drugs found in his system? No, none whatsoever, none. So when you, you hear people say, oh, he died because he was a dope fiend, he must have relapsed or, or those type of things, can you share like those emotions that you feel when you hear that? Okay, I I feel hurt because he's been clean for many years. And um, that was one of the promises that he made to me, to stay clean. And he, we are three sisters total, and he always, I was the closest to him. I was his everything. And no, his only bad habit was smoking and coffee. That was it. Right, we, we, we know that Charlie definitely loved his uh, putelo and um, and smoking, of course. And those two things, they definitely had an effect on his health as well that led yes, to his yeah. uh, heart attack? Yes, he was a chronic diabetes, diabetic. He was taking insulin, but he never checked his blood. I don't know why would you take insulin if you don't check your blood. Okay, and he... Um, he was living far away from you, so you could only do so much, right? Especially because yeah. Charlie, you know, is his own person, was his own person, and he was supposed to be taking care of himself. Um, right. And I did not want him to come back to New York, and that was the second promise he made to me. So I did all the visiting. And so many people have tried to tarnish Charlie's name, you know, from saying that he was still getting high and all these things like that. From what you know, Charlie was living with uh, Prosperity House and was he, he was still clean. I know Karen Tyson said that he had been clean for five years. Yeah, it's been longer than that. Um, and um, he did a lot of volunteer. They did a lot of testing randomly. Karen was no joke. She sent her husband in there and watched them do the drug tests. Okay, so there was, was no way that he could have cheated or anything no, like that. No, no. 